Hello lovelies, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am firstly going to talk about limiting beliefs because it is something that I have found myself talking about a lot on social media recently but I've been kind of neglecting my YouTube channel. So yeah, I wanted to bring that over here and talk about it and I also have some very exciting news at the end so stay tuned. So you may know that I am a, an accredited life coach and an NLP practitioner and the area that I am focusing on when it comes to working with my clients is limiting beliefs because that is something that for me was huge. So if you've been following me for a while, if you've been watching my YouTube videos and you know my Instagram and all of that, then you'll kind of know my story. I went through a big separation, which you know I, I spoke about a lot on here and on my Instagram and stuff. And it just really, really triggered within me a lot of limiting beliefs. It was something that I felt like I couldn't move on from. I felt really, really stuck and I felt really depressed and anxious. I ended up going on antidepressants. I would wake up with this thick, heavy grey cloud over me and I would just feel lack and unworthy and just no matter what happened in life, I just felt, oh. So I started on this big journey of self-discovery, which I've documented on here. You know, I started really exercising, eating healthily, meditating, journaling, uh, using crystals, mindfulness. Like I tried so much. And even though, yes, like my life now compared to before I went on my whole journey of self-discovery, my life now is, it just came on in leaps and bounds. Like I cannot tell you the changes in myself from doing that, but I still felt like something was missing. Another way that I describe it is that I felt like I'd run the race, jumped over all these hurdles and I tried it all and I still felt like, no, I wasn't unhappy. Like I had, I have and had so much in my life to be grateful for, but it was just this, this niggling feeling and I just couldn't get rid of it. And I felt so frustrated. And then when I got into my life coaching in NLP, that is when I discovered limiting beliefs. Now, a limiting belief, I'll give you the definition that I actually shared on Instagram not so long ago. A self-limiting belief is an assumption or perception that you've got about yourself and about the way the world works. These assumptions are self-limiting because in some way they're holding you back from achieving what you are capable of. As I said, a limiting belief is something about yourself or about the world that holds you back stops you from basically living your best life, stops you from taking action, stops you from saying yes to things or saying no to things because you don't feel that you deserve them, you don't feel that you're worthy of them, you don't feel that you're good enough for them, that you're capable of them, that you're smart enough, clever enough, pretty enough, funny enough. One of those or all of those or some of those things are holding you back from doing what you desire and living as your most authentic most empowered self. I discovered that my limiting beliefs were that I felt as though I was not worthy and I was not good enough to receive love and money. They were the two areas of my life that I didn't feel like I was good enough or worthy of receiving. And it was actually after doing like a bit more work and using some more NLP tools and things that I actually realised it's not that I didn't think I was worthy of receiving them, it's that I didn't think I was worthy of keeping them. Now, the minute that I realised what it was that had been holding me back, what those limiting beliefs were, I could begin to heal them to be able to reveal my most empowered, badass self that I am. You can feel like you're doing it all, but if you have a limiting belief that is making you feel like you are not capable of achieving that, you're not going to achieve it. You know, or you might achieve it, but then you might self-sabotage and it might not stick. The puppy started barking downstairs and got so <laughs> excited and ran up. <laughs> so, this might be a little bit distracting. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, in order to achieve your dream life, it is a co-creation between you and the universe. So, yes, you want to visualise, you want to do a vision board, manifest, draw in what you want, what you desire from the universe, but you also want to be taking action. That is the co-creation. For me to get to 
to that door over there or to that window over there, I am 100 times more likely to get to it if I stand up and take a step, if I take action, than if I just sit here and do nothing. Yes, it is possible for someone to come into my house, pick me up and carry me over to the window. That's entirely possible, but not likely. Yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible that it's gonna happen, but I'm 100% more likely to get to that window if I take action now. Similar to, you know, if you want a huge sum of money, yes, you could win the lottery. That's entirely possible, but the chances of getting that money are much more high if you take action to get that money. So, achieving your dreams as a co-creation between you and the universe is action combined with visualizing and manifesting and believing and stepping into that feeling of being your future self living your dream life but that co-creation cannot occur until you have healed your limiting beliefs quite often you hear of stories of people who you know work really really hard and become billionaires and then they lose all their money or they marry their dream partner and then self-sabotage and the partner leaves. Self-limiting beliefs are so, so powerful. You know, it brings up a lot of kind of oh, feelings that you don't wanna to have to deal with, you don't always wanna to have to admit, but when you can acknowledge them, there is something so empowering about it because you are aware that actually the only thing standing in your way is you. And although that can be a bit like, well, no, you know, he's doing this and she's done this and this happened, that's why I'm not achieving my dreams. Actually, no, it's your reaction to those external factors. Yes, things happen. People are mean, people are horrible. Situations occur that are out of our control, but it's how we deal with them that shapes our mindset and our life. So that is why I focus on limiting beliefs when it comes to my coaching, because yes, I can ask you the right questions and I can give you the right tools to create your action plan and to figure out what you want and to help you get there. But if you don't clear those limiting beliefs and what's holding you back, then it's going to be a very difficult process. So on to my exciting news. I have officially launched my coaching business. So I have been coaching, I've been working with one-to-one -one clients, but something that I was really, really called cool to do was to create online courses. I want to be as accessible as possible to as many women that want to work with me. And the way that I see that is through courses because it means that you are able to do the course in your own time. It's also more affordable because it's not a one-to-one -one coaching price. So, the first course that I've got, which is ready to go, people are already doing it. I already have just under 200 women taking part in my courses. Um, some are doing the 12 week course, which I'm gonna to talk to you about now. And then some are doing like a taster five day course, which I'll also talk about probably in a later video, or you can learn more about it on my website. But the 12 week limiting belief transformation course will take you from feeling like something is missing, like you are stuck at the finish line, like you have tried everything, but you just can't, you know, either figure out what you want or figure out how to get there, or you know how to get there, but it's just not happening. From that place of lack and feelings of maybe unworthiness, you know, not being good enough, not being enough, to stepping into your light, clearing those limiting beliefs, knowing how worthy you are, and being the most empowered, badass goddess that you are, so that you can live your dream life. And in that 12 weeks, you will get a weekly training video, you will also get weekly downloadable and printable worksheet to work on during the video, you'll also get journal prompts, meditations, challenges, you'll get access to the exclusive Facebook community which is only for the women who are doing the courses and you'll also get one-to-one -one support from me via email or social media messaging and that is exclusive to the 12-week course not to any other courses. Yeah it's jam-packed full of tools and just tips and it will just take you from where you are now to where you want to be but with a huge focus on clearing those limiting beliefs. Hey little puppy. So we'll look at where you are now from a place of gratitude so that you can really understand what you have now, you know, who's in your life, what you really have, so that you're not wasting your time manifesting and asking the universe for something that you maybe already have. So we really deep dive into you now. We really look at what you want, who you want to be, you know, with all the visualizing and stepping into your higher self. And we look at what comes up when you try to bridge that gap. 
because that resistance when you are visualizing your future self and planning to take action to become your future self any resistance that comes up that's your limiting belief so we'll really work on that there's a vision board workshop in there it's just it's jam-packed and i am so so excited for you guys to join me I currently have an introductory offer for August, so if you're watching this before the end of August 2020, then there is an introductory offer of £300 for the whole 12 week course. You get lifetime access, so once you finish the course it's there for you to come back to if you need it. Um, and I'm also offering a three month payment plan option, so you can spread the cost of the course over three months if that makes it more accessible for you. As of September, the price will be going up. I haven't completely confirmed the new price yet, but again, there will still be a three month payment plan, um, but now is the time to do it with this August introductory offer price of 300 pounds, which is, yeah, it's a fraction of my one-to-one -one coaching price, but you're still getting that one-to-one -one support from me. That is my news. I've officially launched Heal to Reveal. I don't think I actually mentioned what it was called. Heal to Reveal is my coaching business because I'm helping you to heal your limiting beliefs to reveal your most empowered, badass self. So I will leave a link below to my website, to the course. If you want to make the most of that introductory offer, I would really urge you to do it because Oh, it's just, I just want as many women to do it as possible because it, the value and the amount of women that have had breakthrough moments and tears and they're feeling so excited and pumped and I just, it's incredible. Being in the Facebook community as well is just wonderful. So yes, please do follow the link below. If you would like to join, send me a message. Um, you can send me an email or contact me on Instagram at jessicaabuk if you have any questions and... Yeah, I look forward to working with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.